Today we'll turn this CNC machine into a table saw using nothing but this paper tool. I've got a board here and it's got a very wavy edge. In fact, it, it actually has two wavy edges. And what I'd like to show is a task that's kind of difficult to do on a table saw and even difficult to, to do on a CNC machine. What I'd like to do is square up both edges so that we have two parallel edges and a nice clean skinny board that we can use for parts. So I take my paper tools ruler and it's made with a transparent paper that lets me see through it. So I can see the material below and position it sort of where, wherever I would clip off the waviness out of this uh, edge of the board. Start by touching off my Z at zero. The camera, computer vision, and AI all collaborate to move the camera automatically over the letter A. Now that we have letter A captured, go to the other end of the material, place our paper tools ruler down on it, and we can navigate to letter G. There are paper tools for all sorts of common helpful operations you might do on your CNC machine, including slots, bores, pockets. And you can create your own from CAD models, G-code, even Python. Today I'll be using the slot and table saw paper tools. If you've ever typed G-code or dare I say, turn on your spindle and jog the machine with your keyboard to make a straight cut, this is gonna feel easier, more precise, and you can cut at any angle, not just along your machine's axes. I'll use the slot to clean up that edge, going from A to G at a depth of 0.3 inches. The G-code is generated for me, and I can preview it and run it. So how do I turn my CNC machine into a table saw? I use the table saw paper tool. And all I have to do is change this one line, including an offset. I'm using the same edge from A to G as before, but I'm offsetting two inches over to the side. The table saw paper tool is something I created and shared for anyone to use. It's a Python paper tool with the code ready to view and reuse. If you like to write Python but not G-code, you can make these kinds of paper tools yourself or just use other people's. The AI was very helpful in creating this table saw paper tool and you can use it too. Just type your question, including how to make a paper tool and I won't say the AI is going to write all the code for you, but sometimes it's pretty darn close. All right, already, let's run this table saw. What I end up with is a two inch piece of material with parallel clean edges cut off my CNC machine as if it were a table saw. Now I hope you'll find this table saw paper tool useful as well. I've left a link in the description where you can download paper tools and you can get the latest release that includes the AI assistant to help you through all of the setup. And you can check out our other videos that explain how to mount the camera, how to get started, and thanks for watching.